So hey, it's Carrie. I'm back. And today I have got a treat for you. We are going to be making vegan fish and chips. And for the vegan fish, we are going to be using canned banana blossoms. I know, right? How exciting. I tried using fresh banana blossoms and it was a disaster, but I found canned banana blossoms at the store and that's what we're going to use. We're going to put it in a beer batter and we're going to fry it up and we're going to make vegan fish and chips. It's going to be amazing. Check it out. So here we're going to use two 18 ounce cans of banana blossoms, going to use some wakami, some dull flakes, Old Bay seasoning, garlic powder, salt, and some lemon. We're going to make a marinade. Lightning strikes by my window It's my chest right in the morning So now we're going to add the banana blossoms to the marinade and this is what they look like. These big pieces like this, they make the best fish pieces, but all these other loose little pieces you have left over, you can form them into a, you know, like squish them together and form them into like a piece of fish and you can batter and fry that too. Now I'm just going to marinate this, put it in the refrigerator and marinate it overnight. So it's the next day, the oil's heating up on the stove. Now I'm gonna make a beer batter. So now you want to just whisk this up and this is where I realized, whoa, I did something wrong. This is like thick, like crazy thick. And then I realized I forgot to add a half a cup of water. So I got to get a half a cup of water. All right. This is much better. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. This is kind of like the consistency of thick, thick pancake batter. But yeah, this is going to bread that up really nice. So now I'm just getting my oil nice and hot here to at least 350. You know, I want to go too high. It's kind of hard to regulate on top of the stove, but uh, I tried to keep the oil at 350. And then I'm just dipping my uh, banana blossoms, which I did add a little salt and pepper to them after I took them out of the marinade. I drained them really well, put a little salt and pepper on them, and now I'm just dipping them in the marinade, shaking off a little bit of the excess, and putting it in the oil. And I, I only fried like two pieces at a time, try to keep the oil hot. Lightning strikes by my window. It's my chest right so here we are all fried up. And if you have an air fryer or, or an oven, right before serving, you can re-crisp this up, make it really extra crunchy. That's what I did. 